Today is Brick's six day birthday, and we are here in Las Vegas, and it's really, 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 really windy. It looks like a tornado outside. A tornado of biblical proportions, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we haven't seen this in some time. It's been a while. You can't even see, uh, can't see nothing that far ahead. So, <laughs> but yeah, today's a pretty windy day. It was actually a nice day when I started off. It was a really beautiful morning, nice, cool breeze. Um, we had an appointment for Brooke today at the pediatrician to check on his jaundice levels, but we left early because we thought we would hit traffic, but we got there pretty early. So we went to the park, which is like a, it has a big pond. And it was super nice. Saw a lot of geese and people walking their dogs and it was a nice, beautiful breeze. And, uh, which also cool is I thought we could go out there and eat one day because they actually have like, um, tables kind of sticking out farther on the water it's like a dock what is it <laughs> it's kind of unique it's like a dock but it's fenced in um, but just with like a fence for kids not for adults so your kids don't fall off into the water and there's like a little picnic bench and uh, you are you're basically it kind of goes out over the water so it's pretty cool yeah so we went to the pediatrician. We had a different one today because the one we've used before was off. And so he was super cool, super nice guy. Um, we went in there and he checked him out, checked his heart, checked his eyes, checked his skin, checked his whole, his head, body, everything. <laughs> the funny part is Brick did like three dirty diapers within one hour we were in there. <laughs> and then um, after he checked him out, we had to do some blood work. So Michael left. And remember, he talked about how amazing we were because we were doing breast milk because there's lots of enzymes that, uh, and proteins uh, that help out Brick. And for those of you who don't know really what enzymes are, I'll just break it down to a real uh, basic understanding. En enzymes, what they do is they break things apart or they put things back together. That's a, a, very, um, a very basic rudimentary example of uh, what an enzyme does. Ooh, excuse me, so, whew. so um, yeah, so the doctor went really well, me and Michael really liked him, and then when it was time for Brick to get uh, poked and blood drawn, Michael left. <laughs> so mommy had to be the strong woman and hold her, hold him. <laughs> and, uh, but it actually went faster this time, usually they, um, I, I didn't just leave, okay? <laughs> I left to go get us food, all right? You act like I just abandoned our son. I went to get food so because we have a very busy schedule, so I had to go get it so that the food would be ready when you were downstairs. And I also, like a concierge, I picked you up at the front of the hospital. Let's not forget that, that VIP treatment you're getting. No, I understand. You just have a hard time when he cries. So. Yeah, but the point was is that you said... Uh, that I left and then there was no mention of the concierge treatment of you know right to the front of the hospital or a medical facility there's no uh, mention of me getting you food things of that nature so I just wanted to make sure people don't think I'm a horrible dad or something of course not <laughs> and so um, the nurse came in she actually did a different trick which I it went by way faster because when you have to draw blood from the baby's foot they have to like take quite a bit it's like a little vial and um so she actually tied his leg to put pressure down and i held him straight up and then she pricked it and then she got that blood so fast i was like he's done because <laughs> the day before i mean when we did it at the hospital and then we did it like two days before that they put a hot like pad on his foot to get the blood flowing down there and then they keep like kind of squeezing it in there so it takes a little bit longer but she well, she did it fast, so I'd rather have him get it over pretty fast and have him keep crying for a long time. So so after that, um, she was done. We got, well, I got brick dressed. So I had to change his diaper again because he went potty again. <laughs> and um, got him dressed, got him all cute, fed him a little bit so he's comforted by his mom after. And then me and him went down and met Daddy at the concierge pulled up level with our food <laughs> so once we got in we both ate and uh we drove back to the apartment and then my doctor called well my doctor's medical assistant which i was like hallelujah because i need a note to give to my work so i can keep getting paid <laughs> i'm telling you it's expensive to have a child yes. <laughs> we need to be operating on all cylinders <laughs> 
And it's funny because I was about ready to take a nap, so I've only laid down for maybe 20 minutes, so. Um, so I left to go get my doctor's note, and then I went to my mom's, which my two nieces were there. I totally forgot they were there, so my four-month-old niece and my three-year-old niece were there. They're super cute. One of them was getting super chunky, the four-month-old, and then um, my three-year-old niece was doing dishes, playing with the bubbles more, I believe. <laughs> so I went over there and I scanned uh, the letter, emailed it out to my job. So hopefully it will get locked down by tomorrow so I can start getting paid again. Because <laughs> I think payday is next week. So, yes it is. It's next week because I got paid last weekend. So, yeah. And then, um, or it might be off because I can't remember. So, <laughs> but um, after that, oh yeah, and then I had to get a hammer. No, wait, not a hammer. Oh. What did I get? I guess uh, I had to borrow my dad's. Uh, <laughs> tape measure. I had requested a tape measure, a level, and a drill because I just got these four units. To uh, I have uh, I have five guitars, acoustic guitars. I have other. Okay, there. Okay, there's a summation. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. No, I have another one too. So I do have five guitars on my own. With you, it's six. So anyway, but I bought um, one of them is a, a beautiful Martin guitar that I use every day. So it has its own little stand. But for the other four guitars, I wanted to uh, hang them and make my studio look nice. So I bought four um, online. I bought four um, guitar hangers. You just basically put them into your wall, and it, it looks really clean. But you have to, uh, of course, level everything out, measure the distance between each one, and then. Since you put it into drywall, there has to be a screw and another plastic part. I forget what it's called, but it's like a double screw so that if you don't hit, um, you know, a two by four or something of that nature, then you uh, it'll still stick into the drywall. So uh, that's a project I have ahead of me. And then also I have uh, it's been such a busy day. Some this happens, you know, it's like it comes down to like a list. I try to stay on a schedule. But when you, when you have to go to the you know, pediatrician's office and you have all these different moving parts, sometimes it just comes down to a list. So still have to do the, uh, the neuroscience today, still have to do the endocrinology, still have, still have to do epigenetics, uh, still have to do ethology, uh, um, still have to do molecular biology, still have to do uh, scales, still have to do Japanese, still have to do Spanish, still have to do band practice. Yes, it goes, it goes, it goes. Have, I have some business meetings. And then additionally, I had someone uh, call me up, a private investigator today, about an accident that I saw after work, coming home from the gym at like 2 in the morning, like three months ago. Uh, someone, and they, now they want me to testify. I mean, here, it, this is crazy because I called up to help. I called up to like make a difference. These people looked in trouble. I called 911. And I wanted to, you know, help these people if they need help. Now it's turned into the, I have to go to court over it. So I'm not really happy about that. But uh, I guess, you know, we, li we live in a country of laws and rules. So I guess I have to go with it on this one because I was subpoenaed. But I mean, isn't that kind of crazy though? You call 911 and then uh, all of a sudden you're trying to help out people and then all of a sudden you have a court date. It it's, it's a little bit different. Yeah. Well, you said it was raining and it looked kind of odd the way he crashed or no i mean I, he could be in the wrong but the point is is that i was being a good samaritan and uh and and my my action was to help and now i uh i mean because here let me no one got hit he didn't hit anybody he just hit a tree so the only person he hurt was himself i mean i would understand if it was like there was more people involved and i need to be a witness for that reason but this is this is a guy you know i was just worried about his safety so anyway enough about that subject back to our agenda for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, sorry, I keep yawning. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. Lots of yaw lots of yawning when you have to feed every two hours. Yeah, a lot of spacing out. <laughs> you forget what you're gonna say. <laughs> so uh, today, let's see. Yep. So I came back. I slept for like what 20 minutes, and then but we were supposed to go on a walk today, but it's so windy outside. I feel bad for everybody because I know allergies are going crazy here. Um, but yesterday we went on a really nice walk. It was really pretty. We went around this huge block. I was able to do it. Then we stopped at a park that's, um, 
kind of nearby, not super close, but we sat on the grass. Michael played with Alice, and I fed Brick, and it was really soft grass and nice. And then we got up and kept walking. It took us a bit longer to get back, but... So it would be nice to do that again today, but there is a full tornado going on in our neighborhood, probably throughout the entire Vegas. All I see, it looks like a big sandstorm. It's pretty nuts. Yeah, it's crazy. You can't really see a whole lot. I mean, we can see across the street, but that's about it. <laughs> and then, so today when you were visiting with your mom, how did that go? I know you, because you got, got the drill from me. Did you get a chance to connect with her and, you know, talk about some of the stuff that you guys got going on? We just talked about the appointment. We're still waiting on uh, Brick's results. And then we talked about how uh, my four-month-old niece is really big. <laughs> I don't know, maybe because I hold a brick all the time, but my niece Quinn looks, she's such a chunkers now. And uh, she's getting a, she's getting really big. It's funny to see how fast she's grown, so. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, Brick's outfit? Because I'm digging it right now. You got, we just have a close-up shot, so you can't see the whole thing, but why don't you describe it to them? Um, so it says Mommy's Rookie on it. It's orange and white, and then a uh, top, and then he has blue pants. And I believe my friend Jamie, she got this outfit for him. Yeah, she did. She got this cute outfit for him, and he was able to fit in it because we thought he was going to be a bigger baby. <laughs> so we got like three months and up close, but I'm so happy we actually have some. He could have been a bigger baby, but today was his, uh, t oh, tomorrow's his due date. So, and we're on day six. So um, who knows what would have happened if he stayed in the oven. Yeah, I probably would have had a C-section. There's no way I could have pushed him out because he was seven pounds, four ounces when I pushed him out, and I... Michael said I was torn to shreds, so <laughs> so I probably would have had to have C-section if we waited another week, or even if he was late, if he was born in April, so yeah, but he's a March baby, Darby Irish. <laughs> now, does his outfit mean, is that like a baseball outfit? What is that all about? Yeah, Rookie's a baseball outfit, and I played softball in high school and junior high, so, and so my friend knows that, so heck yeah. I played fast pitch, <laughs> one state in eighth grade. <laughs> so yeah, so we had a lot of fun. Um, thank you guys again for all the positive comments you've been giving us still. It's really awesome. And we will talk to you on Brick's seventh day birthday. Remember, no matter how different we may be, if we treat each other with respect, we can always be friends. Keep that in your mind, keep that in your heart, and we will see you tomorrow.